Okay, so here's what I got going on. I've got another one of these spillway filter things. I got a shower drain, an elbow, a ball valve, and a short piece of two inch PVC pipe. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take that blue pool out there that we've been using for a duck pond for years now, and we're going to filter it, put a drain in the bottom of it, and bury it in the ground. And that's gonna be our new duck pond. Okay, so what we're doing out here is we're going to sink this pool that we've been using for a duck pond. We're going to sink it in the ground right here. You can see Dale's been digging. He's going down the depth of the actual pool and then of course the, we, we painted with spray paint to get the dimensions. But then the plan is, is we're going to dig a ditch along this back side over to the drop off because we're up about two feet uh, up on a, a flat spot it's hard to tell on gopros andrew camarada taught me that is gopros do not show hills and you can't see the shape of our yard but our entire backyard goes downhill it because we're up on a bluff so this spot, this garden spot that we use as a flight cage is completely level though. So it, it has like a, 
a rock or a block wall that goes around two sides of it. So we're going to go over to that piece of PVC and then I'll just do a valve, an on off, you know, shut off valve at the end of it. That way when I can, when I want to drain the pond, I can open that valve up and spray fresh water in there, rinse it all out and then fill it back up. So that's the idea. And then that new pump, we're going to do some kind of little decorative waterfall in here for them too. So that's why we're keeping the dirt in here. We're not moving the dirt because we're going to use the dirt as the waterfall, the base of the waterfall. So that's what we're going to do for the ducks. You know, on the other property, we will probably do something a little fancier, but this is what we're doing here. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, so what we're doing now is we have dug down the place for the actual drain, which is right there. I believe that's 22 inches from ground level. And then we're gonna go across pretty much along the path of that piece of PVC to the wall. On the other side, we will have to dig down a few inches and then bring the pipe out. So that's where we're at right now.
All right, I'm finished with this. Uh, Dale did the majority of the manual part of it as far as digging, and I took care of the plumbing and busting through the wall. And I've pushed the dirt back into the trench, and I'm ready to put water in this and test it out. Okay, it's working. So now all I gotta do is just close off that valve and it'll fill up. All right, so I got a seven by 13 pond liner and three cans of this black great stuff to set my stones in the waterfall. And I'm gonna start making a waterfall over there by the duck pond.
Okay, I'm up here at the sawmill. I got to get some more rocks. Uh, I ran out of rocks for the waterfall. I need some smaller ones, so came up here to the rock pile of River Rock. Pick out a few more. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is fill in these these spots underneath these rocks that are on top of the pond liner, like underneath this one here. That's where I'm going to use that expanding foam is in between those rocks and crevices to, to form a, you know, where the water can't escape. And uh, then I'll keep working my way down until I get to the very bottom and then I'll seal the very bottom with the foam as well.